How how are you doing, fresh? Quarantine way, man. Down COVID. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, man, man got Crazy the COVID in it. You got the Rona. Yeah, this is actually that, I'm that, gonna be the first person like potting with COVID right now ever. You're making history right now. Hey man. <laughs> let, we let, making history right now. Yeah, exactly, man. Let the, the history books reflect that. Yeah. You know, how did you get COVID? Was it from clubbing? Yeah, I think it was definitely from. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a mixture of everything, man. Because I've been going out clubbing, restaurants, eating out, dining, playing b-ball with people. I've actually been in uh, contact with a few people over the last couple of months. But I've been wearing my mask and actually trying to keep safe. But obviously, when you're in places for yeah. a long time, you can't wear your mask the whole time when you're around people outside. It's just yeah. it's very tough, man. It's almost not practical, but like for now, I guess it has to be something that we kind of all like normalize. Bro. Yeah, I gotta maintain that distance. Yeah, man. Just like, bro, it's tough. So when did you when did you find out and how did you find out that you got it? All right, so uh, yeah, so last Thursday, right, my bones were aching me, like I was in pain, and I was like, ah. I literally typed this and like, yo, my bones like hurting me, whatever. Everyone was like, nah, it does hungover, it's fine, too much shacks. I'm like, ah, alright, cool. You me, I was rolling with the whole, uh, okay, I went out, mm. let me chill, but the whole day, I yeah. was in pain, and I had a dry cough, but that was pretty chill because I was like, oh no, no, it wasn't anything serious. Then Friday came back pain and i was just tired i was like nah i definitely have it like i was already saying i have it then i got tested wow. and then it took me 24 hours test to come out but then like nine hours after i just saw my inbox positive wow <laughs> i said damn yeah man got me real bad bro how, how yeah. much is the test uh fifty thousand four hundred naira some people get it for 50k some i've heard 51 but between 50 and 51 i guess uh, and what how, how much is that in pounds uh, that should just be under 100 man looking at like 95 pounds mm, just for a test yeah just for one test yeah because here it's like 100 and 110 it's been 110 so, there for a private one or something it's around 100 for a private one definitely yeah, yeah see. So, basically if you don't have money you can't do the test I heard that people are but doing. It with tests, definitely, I think. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah. I mean, in large. Oh in large, yeah, man. If you don't have money, then I don't even know what people are doing. I'm sure there must be ways people are doing it for free somehow, but I don't know. Yeah. Not to, not to mode. So, what are, are you gonna are you gonna be first in line, fresh for the vaccine? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, what about you three? I'm running to I'm running to Lagos if that happens, bro. Well, if they make it mandatory, I'm not any vaccine, bro. Sure. Uh, I just have phobia for like needles. But... Pause. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, obviously, like you know, like like when I went to Nige, I had to get the yellow fever vaccine. Mm. That, but it's just it hasn't even been a year, and they already yeah. have a vaccine. You know, it's it's like literally people. Are holding off buying the PS5 because it has bugs, mm. but you know these same people would be first in line to get the vaccine. So it's like you'll wait for the PS5 to sort out all the bugs and everything, but you're willing to, you know, get a vaccine that has been basically like pushed through in less than a year. When it, it when well, that's like two different years. things, though, isn't it? One is for like entertainment. One is for like actually actual yeah. health reasons. Are you comparing you want life to PS5? That's exactly <laughs> what I'm doing. <laughs> it, we need that PS5. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but what I'm saying is people are willing to uh you know to wait until all the bugs are fixed before they buy the fucking PS5, but they're not gonna wait for the bugs to be fixed on a vaccine that you know you could end up being impotent. Or huh. you know, it could do anything to you. Like three albums out this year. I mean, obviously from the top three, we know David Wiz, Burner, Gina. You know I mean, but obviously David is David's album just came out. So do we want to start there? What's up, Fresh? Your boy, Vas, your classmates. Obviously, like the thing about better time is that 
I heard it a while ago. And so many things were changed, things were added, removed, whatever. But like most of the songs were actually still on, I guess. And for me, it's still the same sentiment as far as, oh, these are like party songs. These are songs that you want to hear in club, bars, weddings, right? Yeah. And and that's all David literally provides, man. He just gives you the vibe. You just want to go out there and dance. Like it's not even an album that you can fully just enjoy on it you just want to be on a fake dp chilling or do you know what i'm saying like you really literally want to move you have to move you yeah, have to yeah. move you have to be doing things around the house you have to go outside you have to just be active you know so pushing a good move man but for me i have like five faves on the album man do you understand what i'm saying mm-hmm. five faves on the album i feel like um i feel like all the features came through except little baby I don't really like that song at all. Fair enough. But I've been seeing that song on a lot of girls. Because, because, because of the, like the quality of his verses. I don't know. Song. There's there's just something yeah. there's just something about that song that doesn't connect to me. I don't think the song was made for me. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? I don't know. It just feels like it was made for certain. I don't even know, man. What do you guys think about that song though? So crazy. Like, and I don't even know why they went with that after fam. Like after fam. I was expecting maybe like imagine if like the best with Mayoko came out right after Fem. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That'd have been different. That'd have been a different, been a different people. So crazy yeah. just made the whole thing. I don't even know why they shot for it, but I guess Little Baby's really hot right now. Exactly. That's probably why. Yeah. But, but yeah. I don't know. My own point of view was um like I always said, like David has this hit mentality in terms of albums and stuff like that. Yeah. Like he c- created like a like a constructive, you know, me- not melodic, but um, like a- an album you just, you, like you said, like just want to sit down and listen to. I feel like that's not his, that's not his strong point. And he's sticking to what he knows no. how to do this. And that is, creates a mad banger. So exactly, it's like, it's like DJ Khaled creating his album. It's the same thing. Like, yo, I'm yeah. going to just do the, the hardest songs I can. Yep, and like yep. I always tell you, like that whole Drake and David thing where Drake has so many, different fan bases he has to cater to every single person so if he created like a conceptual song people won't mm. really get it he has to give them consistent hits so yeah he feeds every single area of his fan base. that's why i think in general for sure i might have i liked it but i have gone over my head because a lot of times these night songs if you're not in niger if you're not in sure. China, you may not understand that's the thing when it comes yeah. to like night night hits like songs that take off yeah uh, sometimes you have to be in the climate to understand so yeah but i mean yeah david hits hits i mean hands down my only thing i, I hated the last track the outro the very last song and that was the second we guessed to me as well yeah, okay. and i'll say i'd like to know who mastered the album or if you just had different people mastering it because had to be yeah I, I don't know if that's the thing that's just um I don't know. I don't know if would you would you say he 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 deliberately chooses not to finesse those kind of things. Um, I feel like because, for example, now yeah, some artists because obviously a lot of people collaborated on on him with this, right? Yeah. Unless it's someone like Nikki, for example, she may want you know her own verse to be mastered and mixed by her own engineer. She'll now email it. Someone here will now do it. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's not going to have that same thing of. Do you understand what I'm saying? But does that affect the overall master of like the project? I don't think so. I think so, man. I, I think if if they're like five or even his own songs, certain songs were different. I didn't even like Nicki's verse, to be honest. What? Really? Yeah, I just went through those kind of raps that outdated. Just like yo, man. Nah, I like I like Nicki's verse. You know, I like how at first, in you know, the first four bars, she used that flow. First of all, we have to definitely salute Percy, who wrote that song. Oh, and, Sp- and Sparrow, who produced it. You know, I feel like... Mm, I, connect. I just feel like we don't we don't talk about um, Percy and Sparrow teaming up as much as we should, man. Those guys are very, very powerful. They are the, you know, Percy also wrote um, some parts of Fire, obviously. And it's so ironic that Fire and... Holy Ground are like one of David's two highest charting songs on the Billboard level. I saw that stat today and I was like, that's a testament to Burris' pen, obviously. Uh, yeah, but, um, 
Yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, I think I think Nikki's Nikki's power was dope. It was dope. Well, not like obviously like a mad yeah, person. Yeah, someone that's gonna be like, oh, yeah, yeah. Really you just like standing Nikki, just like yeah, yeah man, just stand, standing Nikki, man. Yeah. Yonder, yonder. I'd have loved to see him on the album. I love how he writes. That's you know what album. I think. I think that Bella Schmarder vibe. He replaced Yonder's vibe on this album. Yeah, I see, I see. Because he filled in those shoes. I get what you mean. And he needed, they even needed that type of collaboration. And it was with this Bella Schmurda guy. Th- those kind of artists that are just so deep in this Europe. For sure. Hundred percent. I think did that with Peter. that two guys so long. You could have killed you. What does that mean? <laughs> Bruh, yeah, man. Shout out to Yonder is deep on that. Yeah. What do you guys think about the song with Nas, though? Oh yeah, that's for me. That's a banger, bro. I mean, and I, I, yeah, hey boy, be going crazy this year. Like, exactly. Like, Lars, have you read Lars's lyrics? <laughs> I should even if, to us. It's not about the song itself for me personally. It's just about what it means to mm. culture in general. That's what I'm saying. Like, mm. you're trying to you're getting on like Nas. Yeah, it's not like getting like your normal features like Chris Brown, Young Thug, like even of though course. I get, I get that song. This is like yeah, this is Nas, bro. Like. It, it's, it's, and Hit Boy is killing and everything. Like I swear, it's Big funny how t- go go. Yeah, but it's funny how you said that because obviously I posted a screenshot like a couple days ago, talking like David and I when he first put that. Um, when I saw the snippet on Insta, the first yeah. thing I said was, "Guy, you must send me this thing. Do you know who Nas is? Like, do you get know what I'm saying? Yeah, this is exactly Nas we're talking about. This is not even Chris it's Brown. This is so Nas. Mean, like, yeah, it's Nas, bro. Like, chill. Get to him. I think that's cool though because Nas is kind of like. It's like reinventing himself in front of our eyes based on like the way he's just moving, you know. Like if you had a track with like Don Tolliver and Big Sean, that's I, actually I, cool. That's a very you, cool song. Okay, yeah. Very, yeah. very that's a good point. Even the one with um Fabio Foreign and Asa Ferg, I was surprised. Exactly. I was like, okay. At first, like I always thought Wizards album was better than David, like by a mile, in terms mm. of like overall quality. It being an album, like the whole sequence, song selection, like everything just seemed like, yes, this is like a good body of work. But, bro, like after like, I put them like maybe like on the same level still, you know, <laughs> stop being political. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> um, no, 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 no. Which album on its own is definitely, it's, it's amazing. It's dope. It's crazy. Like they're sending melodies that, I hear like, oh wow, that's like something that a, a young, like let's say a new upcoming wizard will probably think of. You know what I'm trying to say? So like those kind of like, you know, him doing those kind of things just shows that he still has a lot more like vibes to give, you know. When because this album, because I think Fresh sent me something and everyone was saying like this album actually means a lot to Wiz because everyone was criticizing Wiz saying, Oh, he's not come through for a minute, all that kind of stuff. And he delivered so. Let me tell you something. A lot of Nigerians did not like sounds from the other side. I loved it. Thank you. <laughs> I actually loved it. Like I like when Wiz gives us this mature international R and B slash calm vibes. That's the Wiz me I actually like personally. I'll choose yeah. that over Jai Jai Wiz and all those other type of Wiz. Tell me. See if if no girl is telling Wiz anything, and there's no there's no waste that is whining. The song may not be mad. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we need to hear that from this. <laughs> yeah, 100%. oh, bro, like, yeah, so, man, that mm. said, because he's that kind of artist, yeah. The downside is potentially what losing his African legacy, would you say? Because, like you said, I love sounds from the other side, like, with yeah. global artists, but would you rather be, would you rather go and you know, go and um, compete with the rest of the world or just be a champion at home? And be competing with the rest of the world from home. Do you know what I mean? I think he's doing. I think you can do both. David O kind of does both, though. Yeah, but David O's doing both. By I, I'll tell you what I mean by that. So David went. David grew up in America. Is educated. Went to school and whatnot. Wiz obviously came through the ranks from Ojolegba or whatever, and he adapted very, very well. But isn't it funny how? Most of David's songs, he's speaking Yoruba. This is someone that didn't grow up speaking Yoruba. Wiz grew up speaking Yoruba. Most of his songs, he's speaking English. Mm. David is searching cultural, like, do you know what I mean? Appreciation, like, speaking deep Yoruba parables in his verse, in his verses. Mm. While Wiz is 
more simplistic English, you know, and vibes. So in the long in the long run, do you think it affects or it can affect their legacies? I think it will. What do you guys I think? think so. it's a tough one. I don't. I mean, I, don't I think, think Wiz has gone to a level where like Lex is kind of like protected at this point. Exactly. That's what I think already. Yeah, like, I think it's protected. Legacy past legacy though. Not there, that definitely le- there are definitely levels to it now, for sure. Yeah, That's cool. I mean, but, like, I don't even think that he needs more, like, Afro, like, type hits, classics to, like, stamp yeah. him even further. I don't think so. Yeah. So, ten, years from, ten years from now, when, when um, you're, you know, when you're getting married or your kids are getting married or whatever, and they play Joe, they play Fire, they play, like, like, David will be able to play, like, a hundred records of him speaking your band. Being at home in that culture... Yeah. Will mean more to you than hearing she tell me not to stuff no, of course of course i understand that now do you understand what i'm saying mm-hmm. but at the end of the day man like you know wiz's first album is a classic yeah and all those features and everything he has done on this whole afro beats will obviously stand the test of time do you know what i'm saying you think and look funny? at and look at david's david's biggest international song is fall Do you know what I'm saying? I mean, speaking English, yeah. Like, literally, like, speaking English, he introduced the punk one sound. Actually, actually broken English. Money mm. forever, because I'm in love with you. I don't talk in time, I don't talk in if I offend you. Trust me, he's speaking normal English in the whole world. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. It's just that whole sample of, you know what I'm saying? Like, he paid with a lot of, a lot of stuff that we're already familiar with. Yeah, you know, banana fall on you thing. The whole you know, artists reposting all these blows guys. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, what, what, trust what, me. Yeah, sure. If we it's about to know, do you think people think that David's wins, like for example, how he just dropped the album, like five songs are charting, breaking this mm-hmm. record? Do people think that it's a it's a machine behind it? You know, I heard someone say when they were saying that they already reached is it ten million streams? I mean, people are saying that it's fake. Look, man, people think David definitely fabricates numbers and no one can vouch at the end of the day, right? But it's very believable and it's very achievable. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I, because I, I don't even know why at this point, yeah, David has the most followers on Instagram. Yeah. Ronaldo has the most followers on Instagram, more than Ariana Grande, Kaido, all of them. Ronaldo right. reposts his sh- Do you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He has Nikki. We haven't we, we literally hardly hear from Nikki these days. Nikki's fan base is one of the craziest fan bases in hip hop period. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. These numbers are very easy to attain now. Oh also, do you think um if it was the label manipulating his numbers, surely yeah. obviously Wiz is um Wiz is signed to the same label, right? Exactly. Of well, course, well, they should do it for Wiz too. Yeah. yeah, so back to it. Yeah, so Burner's album now. When it came out, I didn't like it. Yes, sir. Definitely. Yeah, I feel like um, I feel like Afro African giant for sure. I feel like Afrobeat is like a wild genre. Mm-hmm. Like, 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 like how you said about you know David. David is told a story about when he recorded "If and Four and how it just techno was just like, oh, David, it is evil accent. I need to take it to studio type of thing, and it just ended up making the hit. I feel like that's what Afrobeat is. It's just wild. It's, it's kind of like hip hop in in its prime. You can't contain it. Do you know what I mean? And I feel like Burner's album mm. was packaged Afrobeat. It's like when you go to Tesco and then you see, you know, Tesco do jollof rice now. <laughs> Crazy. So now, like, one of these Tesco say, I never knew that. Jollof rice or like Uncle Ben's J rice or whatever. It's like, mm. it's not the same as that J rice that you chop at home. Like, when it's. Yeah. Like, I feel like, I feel like, for me personally, I just feel like, yeah, it was packaged Afrobeats. Records like Monster and, you know, I'm sure, like, today everything gets justified with streams. So if it gets, like, 10 million streams, then basically I'm an idiot. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But mm-hmm. what would you I thought, swear, like, like on, there was a, on Billboard, I swear, like, Brenner Boy is the highest, so. Yeah, it's the yeah. highest, obviously, because he's, he's, he's super-duper talented. Like, that guy's fire, but yeah. album, the, the kind of albums that, or album that he should deliver, I'm not quite sure... He has a whiskey debut or one day kind of you know classic project yet. Um, but also I feel like even down to like 
I understand what Diddy adds press wise, but down mm -hmm. to like the um, narration of the album, I personally, in hindsight, would have gone for Onyeka, you know, because you have a song called Onyeka. Yeah. I would just have to speak through the album, or, you know, I think that would have had more of like a cultural impact. Mm. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah. I don't think like, there's nothing deep about it. African Giant was better. <laughs> And this yeah, one, sure. I okay, think that's that's that. That. real life is a solid record, by the way. I think that's definitely my favorite one, man. Solid record, but I like that. I like um, 23 is dope. I like 23. Like, what's the album of the year so far? Yeah, Pioneers. <laughs> no, no, for Pioneers. me, just personally, like, in terms of like trying to say something. Giving you, like, people who are established and at the same time giving you, you know, like, okay, these are like, what's this? Was gonna come out being fresh, new, and cool. It just, it just works perfectly. It just makes the most sense. And things that are that's supposed to be complicated and simplified, I think that just makes literally the perfect album. For example, like, the weekend is gonna win album of the year at the Grammys for sure. After our you know what I'm saying without a doubt. Already like chosen for Super Bowl February like finals and whatever and shit like that. So, and his album is like it's so simple. It's just basically talking about how he's like gone through so much in LA and shit like that. So, Pioneers is basically saying, "Yo, we're just Pioneers. We've done this for in like how many years? You know, Ten years plus." You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying so, just basically combining what's coming up next with people that are already established. And then giving you their own flavor at the same time, come on, like simple. Yeah. It's genius at the same time. Yeah. That's my album of the year, fact. <laughs> nah, man, bias. Bi I have to agree with you there, man. I've been saying this for a minute. I've been saying this for a minute, man. <laughs> people even thought people thought I was gonna shake when even Wiz came out or burn out, even David, but I still stand by it, man. Pioneer's album of the year for me, for sure. I think sure. I agree because I, I feel like anybody, like people are still talking about it, but even let's even just forget people because it's about people. They obviously have more fans and blah blah. So cool. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, the consistency of everyone being like it's best album is ridiculous. Anyone with normal ears will actually even tell you. Yeah. And I feel like if you also picked the best song from Pioneers and the best song from any other album, they can go head to head. Facts. Yeah. They can go head to. Head. I don't care. Can play softly or Mark Pyro or Trouble and play anything from any of the albums. I can go to head to head. So, Fresh ain't even give us the budget to shoot a video for them of the album. Can you imagine? On to yeah. this <laughs> oh, come on. Yeah, That's the thing I wanted to shoot as well. What I'm saying. Come, but, come on, it's bro. not too late now. It's not too late. We uh, haven't even shot. We haven't even shot everything we plan to shoot. Yeah. Uh, once twenty yes, once, now. once twenty twenty one comes now and then everyone's in their individual plans. I don't know. We're definitely still doing. Um, we're shooting one more video for sure after trouble. We're doing one you, more video. You heard it here first. <laughs> you, you heard it. <laughs> has Has there been any fresh? Has there been any like um any night album with like an iconic cover? I'm just I'm just trying to think. Like I'm sure Whiskey looks at his superstar cover and is pissed off. <laughs> definitely, definitely. <laughs> he looks like that it. Those colors on the cover. Yeah, that cover was that was that was it at the time. Um, trust me, man. you wanted uh, to show, you wanted to show the face, <laughs> face off. Everyone was doing face off competition. I can leave my album here. My face kind of vibe. True. Uh, no, definitely having your face on album was definitely a thing in that. So, so would you would you guys say that albums now in twenty twenty just it's just they don't matter anyway? But that's why I feel like I've got it from David. Just boom. Nah, I just feel like they're not they're not following the new template. Like I think I was talking to you about it. Like mm -hmm. most people can give them a template for an album that has a beginning with a very like you know serious song talking about a serious topic or a very airy kind of vibe. Nah, like nowadays the first song has to be a banger. Because the listeners ears are completely changed. It's crazy. The first song has to literally set the tone. Has to maybe even the first two, and then the last song will be the most catchy one. Do you know what I'm trying to say? So it keeps you like keeps you wanting to play again and maybe go back to the top. It's it's very weird. That whole maybe 
storytelling thing isn't that needed anymore. Because to, in, in today, like most times when an artist tells me today that, oh, I'm putting out an album, I'm going to tell this story or that story, and they create a fake story in their head. And they, um, you know, they say it's been my most personal album today. Yeah. Um, I'm not really getting those vibes. There are hits there, but I'm not really getting those vibes. It's kind of like, oh, whatever. So think about it, yeah, in 2020 now, yeah, in almost every Thursday, almost like five albums come out. <laughs> and these five people, you want to listen to actually these five people. Yeah. So the first song you play, you're thinking, oh, man, it's getting a bit boring. Even though track five is the craziest song you have ever heard, yeah. they might even, they might think of track five differently because of the way it started off. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So I just that's how that's how I think about it. No, so no, no. and obviously the songs have to be shorter these days, like two twenty, yeah, two forty five. Yeah. For example, like how do you listen to Megan the Stallion's album? I can't do. Exactly. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel. I actually feel like pop stars shouldn't make albums. It's a good point. It's a very good point. As, especially in Nige. Like, I'm not looking for an album from David, Techno, because, bro, let's give us singles, man. Like, this has always been a single-driven market. At least, man. like, a five-track EP with bangers. You know what I mean? Even all that EP, EP, I feel like <laughs> if you're trying to get into, like, EP or album mode, yeah, a lot of them always have crews or labels. Let's get that from them. I want to see David Mayo Quan Perez do a joint EP3 of them. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm. I want to see. Do you understand? I'd rather have that than to be looking forward to a David album every year. Okay, so when you say pop stars, you mean local or globally? Because if, if even just both, even both, like for real, for real, bro. Like I'm not even, I'm not even trying to be funny, but like Taylor Swift, like the biggest pop stars. How yeah, many but times like, do you really even remember their albums? Or how many times do you even listen yeah, to it? Unless you're, like, but unless you're like, like, bro, like, they have a fan base, though, like, high key. Yeah, they have a fan. I feel like they have a fan base for sure, yeah. But, like, like Ariana Grande, for example, like, jumps in, she has a fan base that's going to listen to every song word for word and go to the concerts and chant the whole P. 100%, 100%, 100%. for me, it's like dropping 10 songs a year and dropping one album a year. What's the difference? Um, I feel like it's just it's, I think it's like a it's a pride or ego thing. Just want to judge you amongst the because you still get to perform all these songs. You still yeah. be building your catalog. Whether you have someone that has two albums full of ten songs or someone that has twenty singles, it's basically the same yeah. thing. But, so I don't but know. It, it may also be like, cheaper though. Yeah, like when you drop the album, it's easier for you to kind of gauge what the fans want. Do you know what I mean? But previously, I would say, like, the whole point of dropping an album was to get a message out, to tell a story, which is why, you know, like, I'll just, obviously, because of the recent verses, let me just say Young Jeezy. I remember when yeah. um, 101 came out, I know what that was like listening to it. Um, yeah. You know his journey. And then when he gets to recession, I'll say, like, that's, like, Jeezy's peak. Yeah. You know, recession, everybody broke. You know, that was, I remember, like, that's one of the first times I heard the word, oh, recession, when the recession and for now, you know, is it eight years later or whatever, to come back with the recession too. If you follow mm -hmm. your and you know that when you're listening to Jeezy, it's all about like, you know, mo like even if you're not a thug, do you know what I mean? Like motivation. So the initial thing was usually to tell a story. I mean, for me anyway. And yeah. Put a message across in a cohesive, you know, that's why niggas love Omatic. Like they study Omatic in as a Harvard or something. Yeah. So, but that's what I was asking you earlier. Like, what what does an album represent now? Like, so that's think, the thing, man. Because now, yeah, yeah, go on. Now, because of this whole streaming thing, a playlist can be used as an album. <laughs> Fair. You could just literally just put ten songs together as an album. Yeah. 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 Put it on iTunes for sale and just an album. Like so you choose your carry on. If you choose your roots in terms of like, okay, I want to be a 10 single a yearly artist, like in terms of like, okay, yeah, you still have to get these awards, you still have to get these accolades that are still going to propel you to work with better people or at least get you people coming to you in terms of we know what you can provide. You know what I'm trying to say? So, like, let's say if you're just doing yeah. 10, you're only limited to certain award categories. You know what I'm saying? 100%. 100%. Yeah. You know I'm saying? So, you still want to like, I feel like. Yeah, you can still do the 10 single, but like, still like, at least gotta give them one album or maybe like five singles in a year, and then one album. Yeah. So, like, 
at least expand your chances of reaching every single. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, 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 like, I get what you mean. I like the point you made about playlist because when I deep it, bro, I haven't really like enjoyed any Drake project um, since Take Care, like mixtape yeah. comeback album after yeah. Take. Everything else to me was just like a bunch of songs. I pick what I want. I keep it moving. Of course, it that's, how, I, that's how it is with Drake at, at all times. But, so, yeah. Yeah. It's hard, it's hard, hard. Online, as if it's like the greatest projects and sliced bread. That's what they always do. I don't get it. Every time Drake drops an album, everyone says it's a classic, and it's never a classic. The albums are never cohesive. Yeah, no, but I think Travis Scott has a better endorsement endorsement deal. Ah, uh, yeah, I, I can't say that. Too. Deep it, deep it, deep it. Don't say that. Too. In, terms of, in terms of 2020, he has a better endorsement deal. Back. In terms of 2020, you know, looking at his sneakers with Jordan, Nike, the McDonald's thing, everything that's dope. Bro. Sony. Yeah, that's all cool, but brother. Sony. But we don't even know what the deal is. Okay, cool. He did the whole. Okay, he's going to be involved in the whole PS5 P. But bro, Travis are done well this year, oh, guy. Guy, yeah, that, that was fire. That was fire. Bro. Yeah, that's crazy. That's level. Guy, yeah, last time that a black person was endorsing McDonald's was who? Was it not Jordan? Was yeah, it not? I mean, it was pushing team for real. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about like a face of like you know being a face. No, that was big now, of course. I mean, he's not the he's not like the face, obviously, but yeah, it's only him and Jay Balvin that have endorsement deals with. McDonald's and Jay Bal, have you seen Jay Balvin's streams on YouTube? No, yeah. of course now, of course. Now but he's a different like, beast. That's all I have to say. <laughs> it's crazy, guys, crazy. No, no, forget. Travis is definitely dumb on that level for sure, for sure. For sure. But I don't think I don't think he'll ever top actual. I think actual is his classic. Of course now. Of I don't course. think he'll top it. And guess what? I haven't played actual since, since it came out. Are you wow. serious? But I know it was a dope album. I liked it, but I didn't like play it after like that. I remember, oh, that, I remember that. Big fan, man. Yeah. And, I, I know exactly what was going down at that time. <laughs> Whoa, what was that? No, no, shit. Yeah, Madonna, yeah. Want to understand, like, how come, like, it's hard for like men to sort of like listen to? I don't know what to call it. This new female rap or this bad bitch female rap or whatever you call it because like guys bump little kim obviously little kim was fire but when it comes to female rap obviously i was more drawn to like lauren hill do you know yeah. what i mean obviously guys bumped missy do you know what i mean like, lauren be spitting like with the fugees and whatnot even her mm-hmm. own you know classic album or whatnot but like why is it hard for guys to like Bump like it, like I don't think I've ever heard a Nicki album, maybe just once, maybe like when I was in that like, year 10, just heard <laughs> during the monster time, yeah. 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 I'll be surprised if I finished it, but when it comes to females, guys can bump to the whole RBP, but and it's not like yeah, I'm gonna say that, yeah, you know, it's not like they didn't grow up listening to like misogynistic rap when rappers would be saying the most, do you know? Well, yeah, I think, first of all, let me just say, as far as with Meg and all that, like, it's very hard to just get into that content as a man. <laughs> it's actually very hard. And even I had this problem with Kim as well. Like, you know, like Kim's album, like, just hard to just play. Like, most of these, you know, rappers, female rappers who are obviously talking about, like, you know, all these very, very, like, I don't even know how to explain it, obviously, because when guys also talk about sexual stuff, like, we can, like, relate, do you know what I'm saying? But it's not even as much as them. Like they're just every song, every other verse is about it's no, too much, man. You can't go down the point of every song and every other verse because uh, literally your Snoop Dogg, your Doctor Dre, like nah, guys. Snoop Snoop can give you a whole song about gang banging. No. Another one about his trial. No, this people, all they're talking about is giving guys. No, for fresh, you can't excuse that. You you can't you can't say every song because. There's no way you're gonna win that argument. Like, of course, guys, of course. Yeah, do you understand what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you can't that. There are guys yeah. that have given them the road, Nelly, everybody. Of course, no. The worst terms. So I don't even think like. But, but also, <laughs> my energy is kind of the same though, because yeah. even in gen- in general, I don't even really like those male rappers that always talk about giving people. Do you know what I'm saying? Oh, 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 wait, I can't I like I like Pusha T a lot, Wale, me. Do you know what I'm saying? So. 
Um, ah, bro, but I'm listening to I'm listening to Meg is tough, man. FM problems, though, for real. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not, I feel like if you compare, like if you compare, like a song like WAP to, I don't know, what's it like? What's a badass song? Uh, I don't think any male rapper has a song as bad as that. Or, or. That's what I'm saying. Like, no, uh, it's, 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 okay, there's this Jamaicans. I can't remember who sang it. No, forget about Jamaicans. Forget about it. those guys have nasty. All of them, like, yeah, <laughs> they're in a different league, yeah. man. Because different, different. Yeah, nah, that one I, I bow down to them. <laughs> those guys are about to tell you one crazy lyric. No, uh, those ones are wild now. But wow. Like you can't see that. You can't. Um, see. I just, I just feel like you, it's, it's not relatable in terms of like. Know, like, man, like but you ask, okay, so what is the answer to the question? Is it because it's not relatable to men? I don't know if they are men that like, when they are whipping in their car or whatever, they're like, yeah, put that new Meg on. Like, do you know? <laughs> do you know? What I mean? <laughs> <laughs> well, have you seen that meme or someone like, ah, oh, there's so many of them. But yeah, yeah I know what you mean though. In terms of like, it, like, yeah, it's just not relatable. It's not. You know, like I think that's all it says, yeah. You know, like the beast is not knocking and anything. Yeah, I'll give you like one you know, of like, the verses that are, but like when you actually like deep it and listen, like you're actually trying to like get into the song, it's just like when like what's the verse again? Um guy, it's just not relatable, guy. So basically we need to we need we need we need to, we need to make a call. Fresh. You wanna do you wanna make that call? Do you wanna call a guest? <laughs> 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 Uh, you, gotta, you gotta let her know you're not tuned into the OAF podcast, you're live. A lot of Nigerian rappers have actually delivered a lot of very good rap music. Yeah, you know, they've had a lot of dope verses over the last two years. You know, YC just drops a new song with a video that he's actually rapping very well. In. So, that rappers are definitely still rapping, but in general, it's like the bigger songs are always the ones that you're singing. You know, do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, you can't. It's, it's hard to beat a melody. A melody is like that's just the thing, man. Like we're going against melodies, like it's impossible. And it's, like, it's more like it's like a spirit kind of thing. You just feel for it. Sure. It's hard to go against a melody for sure, for sure. But I feel, I feel like there are rap songs, yeah, that can have like rap verses, but only like melody in the hook. Okay. The whole song doesn't have to be melodic. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. And I feel like people don't really channel that. Maybe, maybe I'll start doing that a lot more. I feel like, yeah, like, it, like you have to, like, in terms of, like, find out, like, it's the word. I think the word is balance. You know, yeah, trying to balance, yeah, you know, and then incorporating certain elements that we relate to. Yeah, definitely. And check this out now, yeah. Mongemeta Sherry, Bad Badu. Files actually files one of Files' biggest song, Bad Badu Badas. It's a rap song and it's trap, yeah. and he's rapping the chorus and his verse he rapped. Mm-hmm. And Olamide overwrapped, and David was like melodic, obviously. Yeah. But still, it's like we just need more of those type of songs, I guess. They are the leaders like Zlatan, people like Nara to an extent, Olamide. These people are like basically pop stars at this point. You know, I, I feel like we just need more. I don't even know how to explain it, man. Like, I think it's creating that new style in terms of rapping that people can resonate with, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, exactly, man. Like, someone just needs to, like, what Psycho YP is doing now, yeah, even though sometimes, like, he definitely does his whole melodic vibe, people, like, he raps very well. If yeah. there are, like, so many new people, like, rappers on that kind of wavelength, or, you know, the future will definitely be looking very bright, but you don't really see people leaning towards that. Well, in terms of, like, the, I mean, for me, anyway, I, th- I would say, like, the last... Rap superstar was Ice Prince. Now, what happened? Because I know Ice Prince disappeared. Then I know he came back with that record. What's that record? The one he sh- he did in the beat, like 2017. No, Boss. Boss is what I'm talking about. Oh, Shit. Boss. Oh, five years ago. What? Yeah, it was 2017, man. Wow. I know he, I know he disappeared. Yeah. Um, I remember him coming back with Boss and that's popping in my land. Is that one? Yes, yeah, yeah. so I was thinking, okay, he's back full force. Like, this is Ice Prince that's been on, like, Breakfast Club. Um, is he managed by Rock Nation? He has a situation there. I don't know if it's still going on, but he definitely had something with them. No picture, shout out to the picture. Single with French Montana. Yeah. Won yeah. awards, travel tours. Yeah, Ice Prince is definitely the last yeah. super I'm rapper. Like, you say Bottle Well, do you know what I mean? When um, YC was with Tiny, obviously, with the injection of cash, I thought... He would be the, um, the next one up, but 
personally, I feel like that's a, that's the thing happens when they can be more for you guys in terms of great records that Nigerians can relate to. And I think both of you are marked, but you're both very different. It's just it's just a shame that you're both called Ladipo. But anyway, um, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Well, what happened? Like, what I mean, do you do you have an insight into that? Nah, at all, man. Honestly, I actually don't even know. I feel like um, I feel like Chuck City should have really stayed as a unit. You know, I feel like um, with what I, I mean, what am I was trying to now do with um, Loose and all them guys right now? Like all these like Martel ciphers and everything would have been so dope to just see like Jesse Jags, Ice Prince, and Mi. Yeah, uh, body it on that kind of level. Give okay. them rap basement in Yankee. Go and do three of them should have gone back to Westwood or Charlie Slot and scatter the gems. I'm saying like me to the R, let me come again. <laughs> R to the Y to the I pop my color. Do you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I don't know, man. Just so, good typhoons, but like, yeah, I'm just good. I don't you know, know why. Maybe the fact that they rap with American accents or like that. I don't know, man. I just hate Nigerian rap ciphers. You know, yeah, fair. And another thing, why night ciphers always whack? Yeah, man. I have never had a good night rap cipher. That's because they keep putting niggas like AQ on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, 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 no. Bro, are you taking the pool? <laughs> uh, nah, but I don't know, man. Me personally, I don't, I don't like cypher, so I actually even have to salute everyone that does it first of all. I can't have a front, but yeah, fair. M is always you know, cyphers, you know, like rapping in cypher is a different type of skill. No, it is, it is, no. it is. No. Because it, it's basically one take, you can't re record it and it's not pre recorded, really right? Hundred percent. I think it's one take. No, it's not, it's you think it's edited? You think it's edited? I'll yeah. tell you that it's not one take. Really? I should, yeah. I should, yeah. I should know. Fair enough, Sha. We should know, right? No, but guys, so you're telling me that this Martel, one, for example, the Labrador maybe, maybe not all of them are edited, but some of them are definitely one take. Some of them are edited. No, when I say one take, I mean the, the person that's rapping. He has to only one. one time to do his sixteen. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. That's, that's right. what I mean. That's what I mean. Yeah, you can't yeah. edit that 16. Yeah, you can't edit it. Yeah, he's right. He's right. This is my thing. So the BT one, uh, they're rapping they, they are rapping live. But it doesn't mean that if so and so flops, like, oh, man, I missed my words. That's it. Of course, it's beat your whole network behind it. You're going to redo it again. And you're still doing it live. Doesn't mean it's one take. Bro, all, all I'm saying is that it takes, it, it takes a certain skill, yeah? to actually rap a written verse that you wrote for this cypher where you know you're no, actually live they didn't write it for the cypher you wrote the verse for one of your tracks that didn't make it or have no but how that. many times have you heard a cypher verse in a song a lot of times you never heard the verse on any song how many, how many songs do artists write they don't have to put it all out Okay, I get what you mean. Obviously, it could be an unreleased song that will never come out. Fair enough. Song. Why acting like Jay, Jay didn't go on on what's that basement rap thing with Tigger or whatever and spit mm. in the verse that came out years later or whatever? Uh, okay, fair enough. But my but TD, I'm coming soon on, on, on BT, the TD one with like Schoolboy Q, Scissor, and them was definitely written as a cypher for BT. Yeah. yeah so they would have no I guess. One. No, but, I, but I guess that's what that's what me I'm speaking to, Sha. Like even like back then when like wretch them, they'd be like, oh, they just wrote this freestyle on which radio station. Like I'm just saying, like when you write that day or like write for something, yeah, it's hard know, to now write, recite it. On their way, like some, I've seen some yeah, like that thing is hard, though. Yeah. This guy, how, three is hard. hard. Come on, now nah, three is hard. Three people are on stage sometimes with music even playing and they forget their own lyrics to the song. Yeah. How much more rapping a verse like in front of people and cameras? It's a different yeah. ball game. See, one of the reasons why I love Ill Bliss is the fact that that guy mixes Ebo <laughs> broken English. He goes off yes. sometimes. You yep, know, he yep. Go, he even choose to end on some words that don't rhyme. Yep, yep, yep. Very true. Like Ill Bliss is almost as if he's doing it on purpose. Like, do you know what I mean? But that's his own thing, and he's do you know what I mean? So Very true, yeah. give us that whole cool, like yeah, why are we acting like the terms or the slangs that NATO gave on national slangs now do you know what i mean I and mean, he was rapping in english but 
Yeah. You know my P was the P all those kind of vibes. Like he was true to himself. Yeah. So guys like I don't know who you want what their names always say your AQs and whatnot. Like when I've seen them rap and like you said they're not comfortable in it, it's like the bars just don't hit. Even yeah. if when you write it down, when you've written it down, it looks fire. You know, for maybe another artist, but for me, I don't. Know, I just find it all poor, like all round. Yeah, I know that definitely a lot of work for um, this whole rap community, Nige, to do. There's a lot of work to be done for sure. What are you gonna do to change the community? I just have to put out songs. Man. I gotta put out more verses. I pair more people's songs. I just actually just help change it, man. Cause I'm not even helping it right now. Like only very few people know that I'm dope because I just haven't put myself out there as much as I really should. To be honest. Mm. Yeah. There's some people. There's some people that have dropped like five. Olambi has dropped ten albums. Like that's ridiculous. Like, do you know what I'm saying? I have a long way to go, but I feel like slowly but surely for sure. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Because that's one thing. That's one thing. The you know the pop guys are doing way more than us. They're just way more consistent. <laughs> The guy that I love, SOJ. SOJ, yeah, he's dope too. Yes, he said he said we broke my rumor. He has said we broke my gist. He has said we broke my <laughs> 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 oh, I love that guy's thing on Zamir Street. I think it was Hate or whatever. Oh, yeah. I love SOJ, man. Yeah, shout out to Zamir too for always putting out dope, dope visuals, man. For yeah. sure, man. Facts, facts. Exactly. He's changing it visually for sure. Dope, dope visuals. Give mm-hmm. them. New P now die here, mad. You know, we now have this new rap, you know, new world rate them on it. Do you know what I'm saying? Mason, they're also rappers now, but they're doing their own. Would you call would you call them rappers if they don't? I mean Of course you could ask for them rappers. What else are yeah. uh, I gonna call Mason? I'm just asking because they are right now, they're rappers. Music <laughs> is fluid. Yeah. Would you call would you call Travis a rapper? I'll call Travis a rapper. Yeah, he is. I'm yeah. Travis is a rapper, yeah. Because, yeah. because he's black and dressed like a rapper. No, because of that, because he raps. Give me, <laughs> give me a Travis 16. I can't call you a 16 for sure. Uh, I know. Well, rappers I'm, do I initially said I was a Travis fan earlier on. Okay, mm-hmm. okay, okay. Made this here with all this ice on in the boot. At the gate mm-hmm. outside, when they pull out, they ain't get loose. Yeah, okay. jump out, boys. That's Nike boys up in there. Actually, it's actually a vibe. I've never read any of the way lyrics. you rap is different. Yeah, guys. three. Trust me, check the lyrics, man. No, it's crazy. Okay. I'll check you. I'm just saying. Okay, okay. Is that is that modern day rap? Hundred percent. I'm not saying it's not hip hop. I'm just saying mm. I'm not modern day rap. Yeah, definitely, definitely modern day rap. Hundred percent. Yo, fresh. Drop a sixteen. You can be like, I was chilling and no, You can give me some. Why you laughing? Uh, that was modern day rap, no. <laughs> I, I, yeah, this person, I've actually never, I've actually thought of Travis and like rapper. I know, I know, like Ray and, and Mason them rap. Do you know what I mean? Mason used to send guys some tracks back in the day. He has one tune called Salad. In fact, you knew Mason all day as well, right? Before I ever met him. Yeah, when I when I ever met Mace, um raps. You know, yeah, it was just a different time, like you know, the room rapping and everything. But I didn't even know he was an artist at that time. Yeah. yeah. But he has he has evolved a lot, man. It's like now he's comfortable in the lane he's trying to go into. Yeah. Fair. I just yeah, I just never would have thought that lane was like rap, but Yeah, but it's it can't just call it fluid now for sure. No, when I say fluid, I just mean like they can interchange between. It's, it's just a vibe, do you know what I mean? They can. And it's yeah. not, they're not so, what would you call to over Cardi? I don't know. I don't listen to Cardi. <laughs> he's but a rapper. It's like, but it's like we'll call Andre three thousand a rapper, but he's also mad fluid. He's also, yeah, he's also <laughs> yeah. We don't call Andre a rapper. Because where rap- people literally say he's one of the best rappers alive. He uh, rap on songs, but people Andre- look at Andre. Andre going in, into the studio session is not thinking today I'm going to rap. So then he, he might even just do a 60 bar on your song, my nigga. You don't know. So therefore, I think we look at him more in the artist bracket, you know, because there's artists and then it's, 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 it's I mean, it's true, it may not be fair, but rappers on the artist. Mm. When people say, oh, like, I, I think Paul explained it brilliantly saying um, rap is his medium of expression, you know? Yeah. You know? 
both of that heavy. But regardless, people look at it as when you're an artist, you know, you can rap, you can sing, you know, you're fluid, you say I'm an artist. When you say I'm a rapper, it's like, oh, that guy raps. And but I don't yeah. think I, I don't think like an artist is just only those things though. I think it's more than that. Yeah, of, of course, of course. I didn't want to go into more. Mm -hmm. you know, okay. so, artists just seems to be like fluid, like they do a bunch of things. But when you say you're a rapper, that artist, what is thrown out so much when people don't, you know, actually produce like art. Do you know what I'm saying? Huh. But, so, like guys, like guys, like for who can I say for example? Yeah, um, people, though. Bro, like in terms of like, okay, for example, like guys like Travis. For example, okay, we're talking about Travis. Travis, Rocky, them are actually like. Travis is a rapper, but they have this artistic form. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Mm. Like, the way they present their music. Like, they, those two have the hardest music videos for the past, like, two years. Facts. So, they're artistic. So, being artistic with your video. So, if someone, like, let's say, like, someone who's just a rapper, like, gigs. Let me just give an example. If he starts doing artistic videos, does that make him more of an artist? No, no there's still much more. Like, like okay, like, Kanye West is an artist. Like, yeah, you sorry, know, my back is hurting me, so um, I'm going to be moving just a little bit. Okay. okay. I need to just take some breaks. Yeah, just... Oh, I'm still here. Carry on, though. Is this, is this inappropriate? Yeah, please, like... <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. I... Yo, Elle, no. you're killing me. I you, man. Uh, have you said, oh, when he's working out, the sounds we'll be making? Is that... <laughs> yeah, you're working out the sounds. Yeah. And, and I, I know who you're trying to talk to. We know, <laughs> we know. Artist is running style in mind right now, bruh. I don't know who's running style, but if I look at like maybe like my top three like swaggiest niggas, Wiz, mm. Wiz, Rema. A lot of times you just see some guys and like I know they dressed you. I know they've been dressing you for like. Since you blew, like it just doesn't. Yeah, that they actually dress them and they actually look like they just woke up like that. Now Wiz, I think Wiz moves like he picks his clothes and whatever. Of course, he has a stylist and help, but mm -hmm. I think he style. He knows what fits him, and Wiz doesn't put a foot wrong. Obviously, Rema is more current now, and uh, Rema's yeah. Yeah, I know the third is Wavy. I'll be. Look, how can we oh yeah, Wavy. Definitely. Oh yeah. I need to get that wavy. Yeah, I know. I'm, I sorry, wavy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, yeah um, but no, on a serious note, um, get a certain thing like you can maybe in like nice, for example, is hard because like you have to actually buy expensive stuff. Do you know what I mean? Things are actually pricey. Mm -hmm. But like if you, if I think so, like it's hard for people to actually get like good things like at a like it like a vintage price. For example, like. If you're here and you go to a vintage store, you can pick up like a blazer mm -hmm. for like eleven pounds that will look almost exactly like a Balenciaga blazer, which is like a thousand to. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. And that's just that's just why it's dumb for me. So I feel like yeah, I just feel like knowing what you want to wear is so important. You know, yeah. but people just don't know. Without knowing what you want to wear, now I also have what what um other places don't have. Whereby it's cheap labor, you can go to the tailor and literally create. Yeah, facts. But, but it's actually coming out. So you just dropped the new tune. Oh yeah, remedy, bro. The remedy is different, uh, different, different, fire different. Fire, fire, fire burn that Ross Cloud. Those of you listening in, if if um you haven't heard Bias's remedy, go check it out. It's definitely one uh -huh. of the fresh bias. Would you say that David, um, how Whiskey has is it superstar? Would you say David has a classic album in the Genesis? Like how Wande has Mushin to Mohits? I'll say it, it, it marked that era. Yeah. yeah, but it's hard to put it with Mushin to Mohits, Superstar, and um, Okay, yeah, okay, I can hear that. You can't yeah. put it in that category yeah. now. Yeah. Was, it because, was it because those albums were not only cohesive, but had like hits? They all they had hits start to finish. They also had stories, like actual yeah, stories. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like a whole, it's like a whole, it's not even a movement, like a whole vibe entirely. It's crazy. crazy. Yeah, Check this out. David's mixing and mastering on that album too wasn't great. Uh, uh, yeah. first, I don't really think, I felt that way at the time. Mixing and mastering, uh, maybe like 20, from maybe like 20, like 18, 
on no, or... no, let's let's not downplay where the industry was at the time. At the time, like today, when you go and play Mushin to more hits, you you know, like it's still clean for that era. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah of course, yeah, yeah. Now nah, those guys are working. Yeah, even Jazzy you know, is not going to allow anything to come out. That do you understand? What I'm saying? That doesn't sound clean around here. Yeah, 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 do you get what I'm saying? So you have to give them that Jazzy thing now. It doesn't take away from my point because David was not an underdog, but was he? It wasn't an underdog now, but David was very yeah, much like, kind of vibe, right? yeah, David was making his own beats at the time. We just found Sheezy who was making beats. You're saying making you know, his own beats. Let's not, let's not run with like, oh, don't give us those. No, no, okay, no, no, but I'm saying that for most of, okay, wait. You can make beats. Who is mastering the album? David went to the best guys for everything now. No, but this is what I'm saying though. For that first album, he wasn't going to like TY mix for like all his songs now. Do you understand? I feel like Jazzy them could have even been using all these blown guys or even themselves in house people then because they already had like a full on structure going on. Mm-hmm. Nobody in HKN cool. was like a mad mixer or engineer. Like, do you understand? Oh, shout, yeah. out em- shout out Empire, man, who dropped two made one day drop a whack ass EP. This guy. Terrible, it- man. I hate to say that. Actually, but then again, this is another thing. Bro, I'm one of the biggest Wale fans. Again, do not need a Wale remix. <laughs> like what's the point for the, for the international market they're actually mishandling one day and it actually hurts me and if i see him i'll literally tell him to his face i'm so i was so disappointed about that so mm. if you're one day do you, do you go back to don jazzy not to not to maven but do you go to don it's jazzy about the executive producer project it's never about see it's never about the ep of the project right we can do all that but it's about them wanting the advance they need the ten thousand dollars from Empire. Jazz is not giving one day ten k dollars. I mean, hundred thousand or whatever the advance would be yeah. to record an album. Do you get what I'm saying? Why does he need that money to record the album? Can record in any studio. Or... No, but he obviously doesn't need that to record. He needs that to just keep paying for his plats or whatever he's doing. <laughs> because the beats are not like expensive beats. Not having any crazy videos or features. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. So obviously, Wandy just needs extra budget to just float and do what he's doing. Do you feel me? So I feel like that's why a lot of people are going towards all these EP deals just so they could get money and do rubbish. They will not be owing for a while or whatever the situation is. It doesn't make sense. Uh, isn't DRB on an EP deal though? Yeah, but ours is so different, man. Like they give us X amount. Yeah. Of course it is. <laughs> it's different now. With ours, you can tell now. Do you understand? So, like why is it different? Because we give you guys solid songs, right? We had Phil's, Ade, Higo. Please tell us who, was on, who else produced on for us again. GMK Junior. Mm-hmm. Uh, Those producers are not actually the cheapest, right? But even if one says to just assume that they all collected 100k, look at how much we spent on beats alone, and that's not how much we paid them. Do you understand what I'm saying? The PR that people have never seen DRB do, we actually did, and PR is not cheap. Mm-hmm. You know, and all these blogs and everything, it's not, it's not cheap, it's not free, right? Two videos are coming off it. Fair enough, Jameson could do one, blah, blah, but we're shooting one ourselves and they're going to be high budget videos. So at the end of the day, you might need that advance to just pay for your production and pay for videos and keep it moving. Huh. When they guessing this is food bag. You get what I'm saying? Like, ah, uh-uh, <laughs> damn. Oh, look at this. Oh, man, because that's Pashuari Nam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Look, look at that. No, Pash okay. Nam is actually beautiful, high key. Very, very high key. That's Nick, probably what, the best Nam brand. With, yeah, with the mint sauce. Nick, you, just, you know, like you actually like generally lose more weight when you're like in a hot country. Just yeah, generally. I can believe that. Nick, Nick wasn't losing weight to Nigel. <laughs> huh? No, because you actually ate, you were just eating like the maddest child, though. Yeah. Like, <laughs> the opposite, babe. Mm. Oh. You know, we got fresh cell, yeah, we got yeah. stream, we got mix. Yeah, you yeah, do. Yeah. Uh, tune in for episode two. We got some. You already know. You dig, you dig, you dig. Okay. You know, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, bro. <laughs> yeah. Indians ain't facts. Let's get it. Hashtag don't get offended. Love, bro. Stay out. Stay out. Man. Stay out. The Alternative Network.